pressures near us on the morning uh, hours for Friday begins to move quickly by noontime, and then the snow develops as we head toward the afternoon. So this is 4 o'clock. Police are looking for an uprising band of thieves who have been wreaking havoc in suburban areas. Yesterday alone, there were three cases reported in Charleston. These criminals are stealing human teeth, usually killing their victims in order to do so. They sell them on the black market, and in some places, the locals consider them worth more than gold. Yesterday, they were talking about the prices human teeth are selling around the world. It's outrageous. What are people even using them for? No idea. It's disturbing, really. I'm just glad it's not happening around here. Can you imagine how I look without teeth? But seriously though, that's terrifying. Oh, hey, we're all out of milk. I'm gonna go get some. Grab some Cheerios to go with it. Are you there? Elephants are one of the most emotionally human animals that exist on the earth, but many people are unaware of the vast amount of psychological similarities that we share with these creatures. They can communicate with each other just as humans can, and they can do it from miles away using sounds and vibrations not understood by people. Although humans take it for granted, there are only four species in the world with the ability to recognize themselves in the mirror, including elephants. This ability is actually a complex cognitive capacity, self-awareness, and it proves that they have a more advanced intelligence, like us. One of the most important attributes we share with the elephant species is our ability for emotion. We have personalities just as they do. We can be happy, afraid, sad, 
elephants experience all of the same things. Like us, they grieve their dead. They grieve as heavily for lost family as we do, often spiraling into depression. But unlike us, they actually live in a world where they are hunted for their teeth. We don't have to face the grief that they do when they lose a loved one to a poacher. The number of grieving elephants is increasing all the time in Africa. Poachers either sedate or kill these creatures so that they can steal their tusks. The laws against poaching and selling or buying do not stop the expanding black market that exists for ivory. In many places, ivory continues to be a symbol of wealth, status, and power. Fortunately, the United States, as well as many other countries, have taken a firm stand against the selling or buying of ivory. But it's not enough. Today, it is estimated that up to 36,000 elephants are killed annually, or one every 15 minutes. We may not have elephants left on the earth in the next 10 years. The David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust is today one of the most successful orphan elephant rescue and rehabilitation programs in the world and one of the pioneering conservation organizations for wildlife and habitat protection in East Africa. They have hundreds of staff and people involved in working towards the goal of making sure that African elephants do not go extinct. While also working with other animals, a huge part of their energy and resources go towards rescuing and saving this magnificent species. Since 1977, the David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust has successfully hand-raised over 150 infant elephants and has accomplished its long-term conservation priority by effectively reintegrating orphans back into the wild herds of Savo. You can be a part of this effort by donating to the DSWT or by fostering an orphan, who you can learn about and come to know and love through the resources and videos on their website. We cannot let this species die.